Now stopping. Probably one of the toughest skills to teach to teach your players and, and it requires a lot of patience and it's not going to happen overnight. When I teach stopping, I tell the hockey players it's not a stopping class, it's a scraping the ice class because the players need to get that sensation of scraping the ice before they can stop because the kids think that they need to stop right on a dime and it's very difficult especially for your first time so what I'll have the hockey players do is get them into a good hockey position let's get into a good hockey position shoulders over knees knees over toes and I'll just have the kids with one foot at a time scrape the ice and try and make a pile of snow once they've got that down then we can do one foot at a time and we start with a snow plow stop. As in a snow plow, we want to try and build up some snow. We don't want to just go make a pile right here, but we want to have an end point where we want to push our snow. So if we're going to go with our right foot, you get the hockey player moving a bit and glide and you want them to go and push, turning that foot in and making a pile of snow over here. You can have them back up again like you're a snow plow and do to try it again, turn your foot in, inside edge scraping the snow and trying to make a pile at a fixed point. Again, it's about your inside edges, inside and outside. Coming to a stop, once the kids get that sensation down, then it's just a matter of putting pressure on the balls of your feet, making that allow you to stop quicker. Again, the important thing about, about when we stop too is being in a hockey position, ready to react and go the other direction. So when, I'm, when, I, when I stop, common mistake is putting your feet together. You want to make sure that when the kids stop, they got their feet shoulder width apart, inside edge of one skate, outside edge of the other skate, and so we're ready to react and go the other direction. We have two skates, so we want to make sure that we use both of them when we stop. Emphasizing a good balanced position, head up, and feet on, body on top of each other, not standing straight up, and feet not together.